one of the things I wanted to do is uh, expose you to some of these different data mining tools. And so, so far I've shown you Weka and RStudio, which is an IDE for a programming language called R. And that's that's great so far. They Both those are maybe geared toward researchers and programmers. And so I wanted to expose you to a tool that is uh, more practical in nature and that you might actually be able to use uh, in, in a small business, for example. So this one is called RStudio. Uh, I'm sorry, this one is called uh, RapidMiner. And uh, uh, there's a free license out there and it's got some limitations, but for our purposes, it's going to be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to import our CSV file. And so I'll use our real estate data. And so what I'm going to do is actually um, do a linear regression with RapidMiner. So I uh, grab the file, click Next. Uh, um, by the way, the CSV file format is almost exactly the same as the Weka file format. So all you have to do is basically remove the header information. Uh, I added uh, labels for the square footage and the price, but that's fine. Uh, they're, they're almost exactly the same. So it should be very easily just to open in a text editor and con convert between the two. I'm not really worried about comments. I'm not using quotes. So all I want to have is just commas. Okay, next. Okay, that's fine. Seem to have brought them in as integers. That's that's fine. Seem to have guessed everything pretty well. I'm going to save it in data. I'll call it real estate. Finish. Okay, so we can see some kind of cool things that it already did for us. We viewing of our of our all of our data. We we have some statistics on that. We have a min and max for each attribute. It gave us a chart. Just pretty cool. It plotted every single individual data point. We're not really worried about advanced charts. Okay, so the next thing let's do is a new process. And so we kind of drag and drop. We're going to be using our real estate data, so we drag that over here. We have to uh, use something called set role. And basically, what that does is that says uh, we so we have our square footage and our price. And so which one are we going to want to guess? And so we connect the two. And then so when we click roll, we're going to set a label, and then we're going to be using the price. The price is the thing that we want to guess, right? So we know the square footage of the home, and we want to figure out the price. And so we set that as a label. That's just some, some rapid minor terminology they use. And so we dragged and dropped one and the other. And so now let's just plug in a linear regression. So we drag and drop, and then we click from here. To here so you can kind of see how it works they, they basically make a pipeline so we've got our data so we've got to uh, basically say what we're doing to that data uh, we're, we're sending a, a target role as a label and then we're uh, what's of interest is price and then we pipe that into a linear regression and then we pipe that to this is our results and then that's easy enough right so and then we hit our play button and then it went through and it crunched some data and look at this. Okay, this looks familiar, right? This is our, uh, our, our basically our linear regression equation that we came up with uh, Weka and R Studio, which is uh, again just a, a front end for the programming language R. So that's kind of cool, right? Uh, this is another sort of confirmation uh, that everything we've done so far, right, right, with this linear regression, it's it's none of this is specific to any one tool. This is just general statistics stuff. So uh, the name of this one is Rapid Miner, and hopefully I'll have some more examples uh, in later videos. I just wanted to give just a simple example so you know uh, of the other tools out there. And my guess is for a lot of you that once you finish this course and if you go into a business setting and they say, hey, we need a tool that we can use for, uh, for doing some data mining and crunching some numbers, uh, this is probably going to be your choice. It's, uh, it's pretty popular, so I want to make sure I show you tools that are actually popular and and not some you know it might be a good tool but nobody's using it so you get out into the into the business world and, and you're gonna have some w weird experience that doesn't really help you this is this is what you would actually use in a in a business and it can do all kinds of chart generation you can uh, create some so we'll go to view and we'll go back to the design view uh, you can create some really really complex um, processes so you can basically you 
pipe one into another and and so if I click this we can actually get some more you can see there's different options here for feature selection and so on and so forth so um, go ahead and uh, download this tool if, if you want there's not going to be an assignment on it just like I said this is just to sort of expose you to some other tools